Where are we going, Sam? After that rampaging Lincoln. You're going down, Abe! Well, he wasn't hard to find. Just had to follow the trail of broken campaign promises. That's pretty profound for a high-speed car chase, Max. I like to think I transcend genre convention, Sam. Lincoln Smash! He's a testy little emancipator, isn't he? Abraham Lincoln, you sit down and behave yourself right this minute! I will destroy you! The bullets have no effect! He's made of marble, Max, and fueled by rage. My gun just isn't big enough to stop him. It's Lincoln we need to stop at this point. Unacceptable! Just as well, Max. It would cost a fortune to feed that guy. Hiya, Sybil. How are things in the world of computer-generated romance? Oh, I'm not doing that anymore. Can you believe that guy? Never mentioning that he was married? Men are such self-centered jerks. Preach it, girlfriend! So you changed careers again? Yeah, now I'm running a dating service. Um, come again? A carbon dating service. I bought this astoundingly useful machine that tells me how old things are. I usually just cut them in half and count the rings. There's a reason you're not invited to birthday parties anymore. I wanted a fresh start and a new career to get my mind off that fiasco with Honest Abe. This wasn't my first choice, but I got a good deal on the carving dating equipment online, and I couldn't afford to change my sign. You're having financial problems? I'm afraid so. After my public humiliation with Lincoln, all the applicants for my dating service demanded their money back. Not to mention all the money tied up in pending litigation with the clients who watched Max's dating video. I stated very clearly up front that viewer discretion was advised. Believe me, I would love to just close up shop for a while and take a vacation. Forget about Honest Dave and all the lawsuits. It was a wardrobe malfunction! But unless I get a major windfall, I have to hope the carbon dating business takes off. How does carbon dating work? I don't know. Something about carbon-14 and half-lives and radiation. I'm impressed with your detailed scientific knowledge. Very professional. That's the beauty of it. I don't really need to know anything. I just aim my little machine at something and it tells me how old it is. Allow me to demonstrate. This tiki is... Oh my gosh! It's, it's 2,000 years old! This is fantastic! Old is good? Absolutely! I can have my office put on the National Register of Historic Places. I might even get a grant. I'd be rich! Who could possibly need a freelance carbon dating service? Plenty of people. Freelance archaeologists, independent historians, rogue paleobotanists. It's also naughty fun for your next bachelorette party. And now that Antiques Thunderdome is getting so popular, business is bound to pick up. Antiques Thunderdome? The show where common everyday people bring random junk from around the house to a giant steel cage match and engage in a no-holds-barred appraisal to the death? That's the one. Now everybody's convinced they have some priceless treasure in their attic and their home will be declared a historic monument. Can we borrow your carbon dating machine? No way! That machine is still my only chance to take care of my money problems. Unless I get a grant, since I'm now on the National Register of Historic Places. There's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. See you around, Sybil. It's Sybil's carbon dating machine. Don't touch that, fellas. It's the only thing keeping me in business. What do you think of this carbon dating business, Max? 
If we do not learn from history, we are doomed to repeat it. Well said. That reminds me, what would happen if you put your finger in that electric socket again? Only one way to find out! I think Sybil could use a vacation. What could be more relaxing than hanging out here with us? I sure would like to get my hands on that carbon dating machine. I bet your hands are the same age as the rest of you, Sam. I guess we should get back to work. When you love what you do, it doesn't even feel like work. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy! Finally, Mr. President, you're here! That's the President? People will vote for anyone these days. Obviously. What's that supposed to mean? It means... Never mind. Look, Max, all the soda poppers are here. I don't have time for foreign dignitaries. Check out all the cool stuff on my new desk. It's the Secretary of Presidential Whimsy Ribbon. Looks like Max can use this to appoint someone as an honorary cabinet secretary. Hey, look, Max. It's the Presidential Discretionary Budget. You have $100 million to allocate however you want. What a delightfully random and convenient figure. Look, Max. It's our old pal. <clears throat> look, Grand Imperial Warlord Maximus Optimus, Keeper of the Seven Keys. It's our old pal, the former child star and embarrassing idol semifinalist, Peepers. That's former child star and embarrassing idol semi-finalist, Governor Peepers. You're a governor too? That's right. I got North Dakota. North Dakota, the leftover state. I thought it was North Dakota, still warmer than Saskatchewan. Hey, be nice. We've got a rich and varied history. North Dakota, hope you like snow. North Dakota, come climb all over our big white butte. Hey! Sorry, I got caught up in the moment. What's there to do in North Dakota? Plenty! Snowmen, snow angels, snow forts, snowball fights, homemade ice cream, and of course, the majesty of Mount Rushmore! That hasn't been decided yet. Right, I spoke too soon. What business do you have in the Oval Office? We need the president to settle custody of Mount Rushmore. Max has the presidential pen. Somewhere. Just tell me where to sign. Great, the problem is solved. But seriously, if you guys see the president, tell him we're waiting. Max really is president now. It was in the papers. We haven't been watching the news back in Fargo. We've been so busy with the arms buildup. What was that? Uh, did I say arms build up? I meant winter paradise toboggan and scrapbooking jamboree. Can't we all just get along? We can if we all just keep quiet and avoid another incident. Honesty is rarely the best policy. All us presidents know that. So long, peeps. Hey, Specs. Max, you remember... <clears throat> Most omnipotent exaltedness, Max Sama, overseer of the nine cosmic planes. You remember Spex, the other soda popper. We vaguely recognize our loyal subject. What are you guys talking about? Kiss the ring. What? No. What business do you have with the president? We're here to get federal resolution on a dispute. It wouldn't be a dispute if you... If I what? Nothing. Awkward. What business do you have with the president? We're here to get federal resolution on a dispute. It wouldn't be a dispute if you... If I'm not... Awkward. What have you been up to? Winning an election. 
I'm now the governor of South Dakota. Hey, just like Wizard. No, not just like Wizard. I was the first one of us to run for office. <laughs> like you invented it. You just, ah, uh, forget it. What are you doing as governor? I'm fixing the problems in the state and getting it back to perfect working order. <laughs> Did you know that the Black Hills are really more of a greenish gray? I've got a committee addressing the problem. But what about the Badlands? We're making them even worse. Sing your theme song for us. No, I don't sing that anymore. I want to be respected as more than just a beloved TV celebrity. If it makes you feel better, you were never really that beloved. Sam and I always watched your show with detached irony. Leader Specs. Welcome back, Governor Wizard. Here to give another demonstration on soda abuse? That's not funny! Why should your state get Mount Rushmore? Because they just want it for tourism! But my plan will save lives! It'll become a monument to soda abuse prevention! People will realize that just like Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and the other guy, they too can overcome their crippling addiction to carbonated beverages. George Washington never had a soda addiction. Why do you think he needed false teeth? Why not divide it up equally? That would never work. It's not even. Each of you could get a third of Roosevelt. I want the mustache. I wanted the mustache. OK, Max gets Roosevelt's mustache, Specs gets the glasses, Peepers, you get an ear and both nostrils. That just leaves me with the forehead. All right then, Wizard. We'll throw in Crazy Horse, but that's my final offer. It's not even finished! This will never work. It's just like last time. How did West Dakota become a separate state? The three of us ran for governor together. We got along so well during the campaign, and we were all such former TV celebrities that all three of us won. The voters realized they'd elected three governors for only two states. That's when the unpleasantness began. What was the unpleasantness? We fought for a long time about how to divide up the states. There was almost a war! But we divided everything up fairly and all agreed that Mount Rushmore should be in the South. We did not! You! I what? You! Oh, never mind. Thirsty? Yes! But you're not going to offer me a soda, are you? You know I can't resist them. We wouldn't do that. We've got, let's see here, orange soda, cola, grape soda, pop, some more orange soda, and tea. Tea, please. We're all out of tea. Soda? Why are you doing this? Stay dry, Wizman. Hey, Wizard, Max has something special for you. Is it a soda? Even better! We now appoint you Secretary of Incontinence! Oh, well, thanks, but I've got to focus on being governor and stopping soda abuse. Nah. Okay, here's what he said. Specs thinks he's so smart. We'll see who's the smart one once the Fargo militia comes to town. Thank you, sir. Okay, here's what he said. Those incompetent brothers of mine are messing everything up! What? I didn't say anything. Thank you, sir. 